Ladies and gentlemen, now today, everybody's favourite PvP character, Goddess Elizabeth, has arrived on Global, and we're going to be trying out the worst PvP team in the history of the game. So we've got Lost Fane King, Goddess Liz, Alt Rush, and this team, at least when it released on JP, was just pure cancer, man. It's really, really tough to deal with. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're hopefully going to see uh, why today, uh, but it looks like we've got a, a mono-red matchup first, and we're going to be going um second here this is almost certainly a player with the amount of cc they've actually got a really lucky star on escanor as well so i think they're going straight into a golf card there let's go for a flight bow again this is one of the best starts you can have on uh, mono red oh has he got a second escanor single target card i think he does one of the mistakes he's made here though is uh i think going for goddess liz at the start Actually, he's going to have a bit of drain going on. Hmm. If we'd stun that Escanor, that would be amazing. But we're not going to be able to do that. So I think we just uh, nuke into Arthur here. And then we're going to shield. And I'm also just going to move around this Liz card. Because I want to try and get that stun. Because he's probably not going to be able to get a gold off. The shield has amazing mitigation on Goddess Liz. Because what it does is it cancels out any additional um, uh, damage bonuses. So yeah, to kill Liz, it might be a little bit of a mission. He's probably going to be able to do it though next turn. Okay, so upgrade. I think this is going to absorb most of the amplify damage. So yeah, we didn't take anywhere near as much there. And then nukes into Lost Fane as well. Pretty ambitious for that play, Baron. Uh, so yeah, I think at this point, what we can do is if we just chuck off Lost Vein Soul, <laughs> and then this, I think we're good. Um, I th think Escanor still survives, but Arthur and Gotha should be dead. And then we've got uh, Liz's damage reflect up for two turns as well. So yeah, there's nothing Escanor can do. And then we got King Zol, so might be able to drain. Even if he does go for the drain play, he's probably going to take so much damage that I think he'll get KO'd. Actually, he still has the lifesteal buff going on. So yeah, he might be alright. But that's going to... It's going to deal like a decent chunk back to him. My Liz is... Uh, what is it? She's 4... Six currently, so it's not max damage there. But now he's like fully upgraded Lost Vein, so it's just uh, <laughs> just GG there. So yeah, not too bad for the uh, the first matchup. Again, Mono Red uh, versus this team has a really really tough time winning. It is um uh, possible if Mono Red does get very lucky, but it's also like yeah, just really <laughs> really tricky to do. All right, so we just had to skip ahead a bot matchup, but hopefully we got a player on the line here, man. Okay, we've got a mirror match here. I think this person's probably using CC food or health food. Yeah, he's gonna have a really tough time trying to um get a all off for this team. I, I think it's most likely CC food. Could be health food though. But again, this team is so powerful. If you can just put on very immediate pressure with the ultimates. And yeah, he shouldn't have done that straight away. Because I wasn't going to... Um, uh, what is it? Use any king cards first turn? <laughs> I'm just going to like merge this and then I'm going to move around uh, the Lost Vein card. Actually, this is actually going to draw me two alts, so I need to use one of these Lost Vein cards. So I think I'm just going to use uh, this one and then move around uh, this here. And then we draw both alts. Again, going first with this team really isn't like much of an advantage because it's got a lot of survivability, a lot of stability. We've got us Liz's shield, her revive, so you just chill him for the most part. And like, you need to CC all three of the units next turn. 
because now we can just like uh, King cleanse and then break uh, Lost Vein out and then fire off the ult and then we should be in a pretty good spot. Um, hmm. We actually also do have the uh, revive mechanic to deal with. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit of annoying. So I think we go for uh, this and then I'm going to put up the damage reflect as well. We should be good there. I think that's the play we go for. Hopefully we can kill King Analyst here. Perfect. So Lost Vein still survives, but now we've got um, the damage reflect up. Plus, we're also going to have Liz's revive worst case scenario as well. So, yeah, I think Lost Vane is just going to one-shot himself here when he fires off the ult. And we should be good. It's been a while since I've, like, played this team, man. <laughs> so, yeah, apologies if I'm a little bit rusty at certain points. Oh, my God! Straight in the bin there. Damage reflected. GG Omega, GG. Right, let's go for... I think all the Lost Vein cards and we should uh, be able to clutch this back. Actually, let's use a Liz card to finish as well. Fair bit of damage off that one. Hopefully should be enough, man. Let's go. And again, her damage card is um, kind of like King's Petrify in a way. Like, uh, at the... Bronze, it really doesn't do too much. You've just got the damage on it. Silver, instead of Petrify, it stuns. And stun uh, can sometimes be a bit more beneficial than Petrify. Because Petrify removes debuffs on the opponent, whereas stun doesn't. And also an additional um, uh, component of her stun as well uh, is that it also removes uh, stances. So it can get around characters like Tarmiel and also Esterosa. So yeah, Goddess Liz, man. It's just so, so good. Massive shield, really good stun, massive damage reflect and heal off that ultimate. Have we got a pierce player here? We do have a pierce player here by the look of it. Okay, this one should be interesting. It's kind of like a pierce Escanor hybrid. This team was always really good in the last meta we had as well. Hmm. I'm thinking about what I want to go for here. I think there's a good chance he crits Lost Vein, so we should only need one card. Okay, I think... If we go for this, that's Lost Vein Zol, and then I think we... Do you want to merge on King? Yeah, I think we merge on King and heal, because if I use the shield, it's just going to get corroded through. So yeah, I think uh, this is the best play we've got here. Blue Team Meliodas' Corrosion is really good for dealing with Goddess Liz's shield. Because uh, her shield's so powerful because it nullifies any additional damage multipliers aside from Rupture. So anything like uh, crit chance, crit damage, pierce rate, any additional like bonuses on cards like pierce for example. It's just so, so good. But yeah, there, there might be a drain here. The good thing is we still got like loads of damage on Lost Veins, so we are we're chilling for the most part. And there's also no corrosion now, so I think here what I'll do is I'll merge this, get a slightly stronger shield, and then we'll go for uh, this card on Lost Vein. And because I got Zeldris as, as his association, Lost Vein has like crazy lifesteal, so there should be a full top up here. Plus we got the shield on, so he's going to have to merge uh, another drain. But we've also got the cheat death from Goddess Liz as uh, additional reserve here. So we're in a pretty good spot. Might go for a Lulia heal. And also if he drains both ults as well, uh, then we merge this on King. And then we can get King's ult and win. So yeah, he's just in a lose-lose scenario at the moment. Kind of lined everything up perfectly here, so we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, he doesn't have the upgraded drain there, so fortunately not going to quite cut it there, fella. But let's go for this, this, and then this. So this just kind of <laughs> it seals the deal. Make sure we're very secure to finish off the game, regardless of the Lost Vein or outcome. But via the summons as well today, man, we now have Lost Vein 6-6, so he's big chilling. 
Oh, Escanor. Yeah, Escanor actually survives that. So he, he might try and ult next turn, but we still haven't used the cheat death mechanic on Goddess Liz. So even if he does ult, we just um, not only rewind all the damage, I think we reflect it as well. If it kills. Actually, if it kills, might not reflect, but we'll rewind. Oh, dude, it didn't kill. So yeah, we just reflect that. 130k damage. King's going to take a massive chunk there as well. Oh, sorry about that one, pal. So let's just go for the King ulti and then these two cards, and I think we should be done. So yeah, that was a, that was a cool match, man. <laughs> Again, I really do think um, a Mega Rugal in place of Escanor there would have been a real threat to me. Like, a Mega Rugal is so, so strong, man. I'm excited to try out that Double Pierce combo a little bit later today uh, and see if we can clap some of these teams. All right, so moving on to our next match. Oh, it looks like we got a lovely uh, mirror match here. Have we? I don't think we fought Firebrand yet. He's got Merlin on the sub. I think he's using CC food as well. We've got a crazy start with a Lost Vein merger, man. That's really, really good news. So I'm curious. I think he's also got the Lost Vein merger as well. Hmm. This could be a problem, actually. I'm a little bit confused. He should have definitely gone. Dude, if he had uh, gone first with that luck, man, and used the second Lost Vein card, it would have been enough to get ult, and then it would have been GG. I think he would have just instantly won there. Uh, so, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I think let's go for this, and let's also merge on uh, King as well. Maybe I should have just used the Liz card, actually. Because now if he has two stuns... He's still going to be in a, in a little bit of trouble here. I don't think he's going to be able to get two stuns and break the shield. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we got plenty of damage via this play. I, I should have gone for Goddess Alyssa's ult, man. That was a bit of a misplay there, I think, on my behalf. Because, yeah, just having that uh, heal is so damn good. Right. So, I think we need to, like, break the shield here initially. And then I'm not too sure if it's going to be enough. Let's give it a go anyway. Oh, perfect. We just about broke the shield, so we chill in. I should have used that Liz card last there as well. Actually, maybe it was a good um, good play to use it then, because if I used that last, we would have almost certainly upgraded Lost Vein there. But maybe I shouldn't have thrown it away. Maybe I should have moved it about. Again, I'm a little bit rusty at playing this team. But when it comes to the mirror matchups, there's sometimes a fair bit to take into consideration. But here we should be good. We got a really nice play lined up for the next turn. So we can just go for King's ulti. And then if we go for this. Actually, I think if we go for this, this, hopefully that gets Merlin down. And um, yeah, should sort out the loss fame. Worst case scenario, Lost Vein is petrified. I think they should both die as long as we get some good crits on Merlin here. Yeah, there we go. Well played to Firebrand, man. That was a cool match. But let's uh, move on uh, to our, our final opponent. All right. So for our final match, uh, we're going to be fighting Lionheart. Have we already fought Lionheart? Okay, we got the Lost Vein start, dude. That's so good. If you get like an additional Lost Vein draw, it's just massive GG with this. Okay, so he's going for King's ulti. I think, anyway. Smart play. Hey. 
And he's also going to petrify Liz there. Okay. Yeah, really good play, man. Um, I think we want to nuke in there. And then I'm going to get Liz out. And then we're going to go for the shield. Because then we can get some massive mitigation on uh, King's ult. Unless he can crack the shield with Lost Vein's charge card, which he might be able to. Either way, we can still come back from a King Alt man, because King Alt doesn't fully one shot. Plus, also the the character most likely to die first and rewind the damage would be Lost Vein. Oh, I was hoping the shield would hold up for that, for mitigation, but it's all good. My Liz might be dead here, though. Oh, no, we chilling? Right, um... I think we want to go for this. I don't know if he can merge into anything silly. We gotta go for the King Heal as well, man. Get Liz and uh Liz and King topped up. But there we go, that's his King and Liz dead. Hopefully there's no merger. Okay, good. It's got two gold cards. But it's fine. We still got the um uh what is it? Cheat death mechanic or revive from Goddess Liz here. So we're in a really good spot. I think Liz, Liz maybe dies. Actually, no, he's, he's not even going for Liz, man. He's going for a King. Oh, I, I don't think the revive triggered actually. So I think we're in a pretty good spot still. Um, let me just check the gear set on this Lost Vein. Yeah, he's just got attack, so he should be good to uh, get him down here. If we go for this play, I'm just gonna like chuck all the damage on him. <laughs> so yeah, we we should be all right, man. But yeah, that was uh, those are some cool mirror matches for sure, man. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that brings us to the end of today's first look at Goddess Elizabeth in global PvP. Again, she is um, definitely going to be a big problem with this team. Uh, but I'm very curious to see what kind of meta shapes up around her and also the King of Fighters characters, Halloween Gotha. I think uh, Double Pierce with Omega and Blue Dean Meliodas is still going to be a really good team for dealing with this uh, Alt Rush comp. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy today's PvP video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.